My favorite, I'm just gonna talk about it. I don't know. I'm sure someone might get offended, but the parent page to me, like, I wish we had access to it. My mom will, my mom will message me and be like, like we were skyping the other day. And she's like, does anybody on your team have typhoid? And I was like, no, mom. Why would you ask that? You know? And she's like, not on the parent page. And so like, I don't know. Like, I just want to get on this page and like see what the parents are saying. She was like, because it's a journey for them too, mm -hmm. and just to like. I don't know, for some parents, like, luckily, like, me and my mom, like, it was hard for my mom, like, even though, like, her parents were missionaries, and, like, she knew I'd be fine, and I think, like, it's so hard for, like, parents to be, like, I'm sending you off into the world, and these countries that, like, are different, and operate differently, and, like, um, so I can imagine if it was, like, a college student who, or someone who has never been, who's never traveled, or like, I just imagine some parents have a really hard time, but it's a little comical to hear yeah. some of the things that are. Not that my mom doesn't love me and miss me, but she's got six other kids to worry about, so oh, for sure. she's distracted a little bit. I think my mom um, has hit this place in her life where she's getting to kind of be like this like, I don't know if I can say this all. She's kind of got her like, this like cool single woman thing going on. Like, I feel as though like, um, she was like a mom, so she had to like take care of us. And so she couldn't really like go, like do fun stuff all the time. Cause she had to like take us to practice or take us, you know, whatever. And so it's like, it's cool watching her like now that like we're all out of college and like we're all, you know, maybe not me, but like James and Jacob have their life together and they're getting married and like have a job and stuff. But like it's cool to see her just like develop this freedom. Like she, she like moved to a new apartment right before we left and like has a nice car and has a cool job and like she's like the cool single lady and like I don't know, like it's just cool to like see her like be happy and so it's like um, it's really funny. Cool. I hope she comes. Yeah, I, I hope she does too. Wouldn't be nice. Are your is your parents going to be? If not both, then I said that a little. Yeah, that'd be cool. He hated me for a long time. You, he, you're gonna put this on there. Yeah. yeah. He didn't hate me. He There's just didn't like me. There's just a level of vulnerability, and I respect that. I feel like I want to make up like the next time we do something like this uh, at LW or whenever. Like I really want to talk about like. Like, I don't know, like our family and Lord, like, like, and, and friends, like, I feel like it's impactful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's a hard thing on the race because, like, you, and you'll, like, hear this at training camp and launching stuff if you're going on the race, but, like, you start to work through things sometimes with your parents and your siblings that, like, you didn't expect to work through, and, like, that makes it more difficult sometimes. Or, like, it just adds different challenges. I haven't had to, like, work through a whole lot, but... My stepdad you and wait I. for that wave. You oh, wait for that wave. I know. Um, my stepdad and I like never had a good relationship. Like first, one of the first things I remember him saying to me, I was nine years old, and he was like, "Well, I'm gonna marry your mom whether you like it or not, so you're gonna have to get over it." And I was like, "Dang." Well, I didn't say that. I was nine. I'm glad I cried. you have a good relationship now. Well, only since I left. He like, only since I left for the race, after they dropped me off, he told my mom it was harder to leave me than he expected. Aww. And now every time like I call, he like wants to say hi, and he wants to come to I really BBT. hope he comes to BBT I do now. Too. <laughs> he's really great. I think you would really like him. He's really funny, and he's like, <laughs> he's, he's rough around the edges. He's great. That's great, I love it. Yeah. yeah, like I think for me, like when it comes to like family, like, something that I've just learned of like while I'm healing or like I say healing but I'm just going through this process of like growth and self-discovery and like all these things that like you learn on the race and you learn about yourself of like um, just like also just like the interactions you have with your family like growing up and not like bad react, like interactions but like how did growing up with just brothers like how does that change, like how I interact with people around me? Slash, what truths do I hold about myself? Because, you know, I didn't have like a sister to teach me how to put on makeup or straighten my hair or like. Um, I got to. 
like wear pink. I don't know, like that's not a good example, but you know what I'm saying? Like how do these different dynamics like play into stuff and like um also just too like I think that's the beauty about the race which makes the hard stuff so much better is like we're all so totally different. Like like yeah, we like love like love the Lord and we're like on fire for God, so it's like so cool, like that's our center and that's our thing that holds us together. But like we all come from like different backgrounds and like different states and different political beliefs. Gosh, I don't want to get started on that, but like different <laughs> political beliefs and like um like the beauty of it is like we're learning to live like in community and it's like it gives me hope that like Christians like that we can bring this back to like what we've learned to America and like show the Christians around us in our life like what community is supposed to look like. And like, it gives me hope that like, we can be a people group, like we can be America, like I'm in America, like we can be a people group that like, we have all these different beliefs and come from these different backgrounds. Um, beliefs on like little things, not like, yeah. obviously like we believe in God, but like, um, like we all have these different ways of doing things and like different political agendas and different things like that. But like that at the end of the day, like we could come together and like, that you could see the community, you know, like, and that's what I love about, like, the race, and it's, like, my team's driving me crazy, but at the end of the day, I know that they all love the Lord, and that they're, like, running after Him, and, like, um, or that, like, there's 51 of us, you know, like, how, ma how is it even possible that there's not two people that want to cut each other's throats, you know, like, I don't yeah. think, I've, I don't think that we've got to that, like, maybe you get to that point later on in the race, I don't know, but, like, everyone just has this general level of, like, respect for another person, even if they don't, like, agree with them, on, on certain aspects of things, even how things should be done or like how, you know, so just like, I think part of me is like sad that I'm gonna have to exit that, exit that community. And I think that's why so many racers have such a hard time like going back home is that like to go from having a community of people. And these aren't people that you like are best friends with like I'm not friend I'm not best friends with everybody like and that's not that's not a harsh thing that's just life like you're not you don't have to be best friends with everyone there's but just a group of random people that all decided to sign up for the same time period to exactly go and, race and they're all did. walking through their mess and like you're walking with them into like but the beautiful thing is I could sit here and I could like look at this camera which is weird but like, I could look at this camera and I could like look at you and tell you like I love you like you're my brother and sister in Christ and like um like being able to like say that like everything else is like meaningless yeah. like it doesn't matter that it drives me crazy that x y and z you know like because at the end of the day like when it comes down to it like i ultimately love you and so it's like i think that like i don't know like going back to america where that like our communities aren't that way you know, we don't call each other out on things that we need to call each other out on. And not like in a ugly way, like I think we could have a whole session about feedback. We could sit here and talk hours about feedback and how it's hard. Okay, I got my butt handed to me in India multiple times. First month on the race. Roast level, on point. Like Katie, blah, 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 Katie, blah, 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 Katie, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? I got roasted and now I'm better for it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that we get into this mindset of like, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, or I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything in this area because I don't want someone to think that X, Y, and Z. And like, God, like I just think of like, what would our community back home look like if like people were just raw and real with each other, and not in an ugly way, but like in a I want you to grow in the Lord. Like they came at it with love, obviously, like not in a because um, I just know there's so many things that we can just pick apart, like anything like even gosh politics like i'm not even gonna ugh, like because there's so many there's so much thing like there's so much division in every aspect there's division in the church there's division in our schools there's division in our homes there's division like there's division everywhere and like that is ultimately like what just kills me is that the devil's been able to get his hands in every aspect of our life